Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got an email in here from Gilbert. The headline is Nikon Mirrorless. And as you know, we've been talking about the much anticipated Nikon Mirrorless full frame cameras that uh, are supposed to be announced July 23rd, uh, hopefully. And we know are coming. They're in development. Gilbert writes in and says, Hi, I like your show and the format of it. I disagree with you with the fully articulated screen. I come from an Nikon D5500 with fully articulated screen. This week I bought an Nikon D850, brackets, what a camera, lots of exclamation points, and I have to agree with you, amazing camera. I love the way that the menu is available in the back and removing the button on the left side and replacing it with an articulated screen instead would be a crime. I hate the fact that you have to access the button from the front of the camera. I had to look for ISO button in front and the timer and other functionality on the front, unpleasant on the D5500. Rotating the camera to find the front button is very frustrating to me. Having said that, I don't like the fact that you have to look in front and try to find the manual auto button on the D850 to change aperture. And this is the only thing I don't like on the D850. Where would you rather have the left side buttons as found on the D850 if they were replaced for the fully articulated screen? Well, the first and foremost, what I would want it to be is a full touch screen so you could do all that from the screen. But I also would want them on the body. And that's a good question. Where would I like to see them placed? Uh, I think it would just be a question of shifting the button arrangement. Perhaps a new series of buttons along the top of where the screen uh, of the screen. So when it's folded in, there's a, a series of buttons there. Uh, I just, you just we're just gonna have to move around some things. Um, off the top of my head, I'm thinking along the top is where I would want to see them there. Um, but I'm open to some suggestions. I'm gonna throw it back to you guys. So Gilbert says if we were going to put a fully articulated screen, he doesn't like the way the buttons are placed. So two-stage question here for you folks. Are you a fan of the articulated screen? Would you like to see a fully articulated screen on the new Nikon mirrorless? Would you like to see an update to the D850? Would you like to see all of their bodies go with a, a well-built, fully articulated screen? That's what I would like, and I've said that for a while. But the second part of that question is, if that's the case... Where would you put the buttons? Where would you put the buttons that Gilbert is saying he finds awkward when you have that screen and they have to be moved? Do you think you could fit them in along the top? Obviously, we can rework the body here any way we want it if we're designing a new camera. Um, and I think that's probably the most logical just off the top of my head is to have it along the top of the LCD screen. So in other words, when it folds in and it's viewable and you've got it closed into the body, there would be buttons along the top. And perhaps an additional row down the side. I think you could work that in. I think it wouldn't be hard. We just have to play with it to get it to look right, feel right, and have good ergonomics. That's what I would suggest. Um, but what do you guys think? First of all, are you okay with an articulated screen? Second of all, where would you put the buttons that the screen might displace, as is the case, as Gilbert said, with this 5500. He doesn't like some of them where they're located. So um, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Always great to hear back from you guys. Uh, let's join the discussion with Gilbert here and uh, chime in on his question. Do you agree with me or do you have a different option or opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. I think, first and foremost, the articulated screen is an absolute necessity. But I'm curious to hearing what you guys have to say on that one. And also, uh, if it requires moving of buttons, where would you like to see them? Thanks for your question, Gilbert. I'm sure this is going to start an interesting discussion. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.